Hey guys, Terrence here. I purchased a scooter about 12 years ago for my wife for a birthday. And she drove it for a little while, just around the neighborhood. And you know, I even drove it for a little while, but we didn't put many miles on it. Got about just a tad bit, about 430 miles to be exact. I'll show you guys in a second. But of course we just set it in the garage for years and years and years without riding it. Left gas in the tank and of course, you know what that caused. Bad car, messed the car up. Well, the car needed a good cleaning, but the fuel tank was had to be uh, taken off. We had to take uh, change some components on the fuel tank because uh, the gas kind of messed up a whole lot of stuff. And the, uh, the, the scooter hasn't ran right ever since. When we did get it started, kind of sputtering. I've changed a few carburetors on. Let me show you guys. As you can see, uh, my parts here. We had to siphon the gas out. Like I said, we let it sit for this old Chinese scooter, 50cc. We let it, it it's been sitting. I wouldn't, I can imagine maybe 10 years just sitting in the garage in the corner over there. So we decided to get rid of it since we weren't gonna use it anymore. And that's 429 miles. But worst thing ever was leaving gas in that thing and i didn't even know and of leaving the battery connected so i bought some little cheap battery it's not the right battery for this scooter so that's one thing i want to talk about so after replacing some of everything all the components we new carb uh new cdi system for this thing uh we changed the the ignition spark i did the valves I tuned the, uh, I used the filler gauge and kind of set the valves on the engine perfectly, and it started right up. I mean, it ran perfect, and it still wasn't running right. So, as you can see, the old carburetor right here, I just could have clamped it, probably didn't got away with it, just clamped it real good. But as I said, it was it's an older. Scooter, let me put a new car. It wouldn't cost so much online. So, this is the first one I put on, and it still wasn't running right. Just a tiny bit different from this one, from the one that I took off. And I just thought maybe they gave me the wrong car, but it connected everything, uh, connected the same way. Everything was same connections, just a tiny bit different as it should be because it's, of course, a newer one. So I told the guy it wasn't working right. So he like, you know what, I'll send you another one. So he sent me the one that's on there. It wasn't even the car. So, I mean, we changed everything on this. I got parts all over the place for this scooter, but it didn't start. Like it was, like it normally would. I mean, it didn't run perfect. So what I found interesting for the last couple of days, after we got it running, we'll cut it off for a while and it won't, it'll kind of hesitate to start. It took its time starting up. After I let it ran for like an hour straight. But what I did find interesting that may can help one of you guys if you did or have similar problems. For one, the starter's not that good on here. It's okay. It's fine. It's, it's enough to start it. But putting this battery in, the battery holds a charge. It's a smaller battery. But it's not turning. It's not pushing out enough power to turn it over. It's, it'll spin forever like it's trying to start but it won't start and i'll show you guys this is the first time i'm starting it and i'm gonna show you guys exactly what it's doing because this may be a problem we, I, we have spark you know i mean I, the other night i struggled getting it start started until i found out this solution we i had spark i had i was getting gas everything was right uh great compression but i wasn't it wasn't turning over so this is what i found we're using this battery and this battery good it's a it's a new battery just it's, it's a smaller battery but it's new so this is the first start i'm gonna try to hold my phone and do this in single setting it won't turn over now it sounds about normal cranking, but it's it's not putting out enough power. And I'll show you guys. Now I'll turn my I'm, I got it to my battery charge. I'm gonna just turn my battery on the lowest. Well, 
on the forty. I'm not gonna put it for engine star. Just put it on forty amps. If I had a bigger battery in here or get my smaller jump star, I could show you guys. But I'm gonna put it on here. Get the batteries connected. And this is the first time I'm starting it today. So watch, it's gonna start right up. A lot of people with similar problems to me online with the that have spark, have compression, and getting gas, but the screws are not starting. And I found that this battery wasn't putting out enough power, or the battery that was in here before it was so weak, wasn't putting out enough power. So I struggled for hours and hours at a time trying to get this thing started. You know, just baffling me. But Something just, I, I made a mistake and touched the battery charger up and this started on me every time. And it started on the down. So, hope this helped you guys. I just think it's been a pain just to find out it was just this. I mean, it won't, it, it won't forever. It won't turn off. And, uh, hope this video helped you guys. So, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Terrence and I'm out.